All right, guys, so this is video three. We're going to be installing Alien Vault, the server. So let's get into it. So now let's go ahead and open up our VirtualBox. So this is my VirtualBox. So before we get into installing it, if you want to follow along step by step, what I did in VirtualBox is I made a network to match the subnet that I made in the previous lectures, 192.168.100.x, with a 24-bit subnet. And as you can see down here below uh, DHCP server, I have everything sitting in the 100 network. Adapter is 100. So this is going to be the adapter that we utilize uh, at some point because this is the host only. We're not going to be going on the internet with this lab. So uh, yeah, just wanted to give you a little insight on that. So let's go ahead and go back to welcome. Let's go ahead and create a new VM. I want to name it OSSIM server. Okay, I want to throw it right here. Here's fine. That's fine with me. Linux. And it's a Debian, so we can go up to Debian 64-bit. And I want to go ahead and give it, I want to go ahead and give it 14 gigs. I want to give this three CPUs just because I have it. If you have it, go for it. If you don't, minimum memory is at least eight gigs. That would be ideal. I, I'm going to put a 20, 25 gig. That should be fine. I guess I would just type it. Whoop. No, no, not that. All right. So I want to put a pre-allocated full size. I want to make this the full size. I don't want to have it dynamic. Okay. Finish. So we'll let this create. Once this is done creating, we can go ahead and install the, uh, you know, install the operating system. So we'll give this a few moments to cook. And yeah, like I said, the, um, the memory is 12 gigs. Uh, you want to have a fixed disk of at least 25 gigs, two cores minimum. You know, if you can do more, more the merrier. Um, I did three cores just because I think that should be good enough. And once this is actually done, we're going to go ahead and browse out to the ISO. Let me go ahead and get that baby up. Okay. So I have it up right here to my software folder, alien vault underscore O S S I M 64 bit. So once this is done, we're going to go ahead and browse out to wherever you saved your ISO and we're going to go ahead and get installing. So. We'll go ahead and minimize this. But before we minimize this, when you installed VirtualBox, hopefully you downloaded the extension pack. It just makes life easier and installs all the good stuff that it's needed. So hopefully you did that. It's pretty easy. Once you install it, you just double click on it. All right, so let's go ahead and go to settings really quick. I wanna go ahead and make some just verifications. I wanna go ahead and put bi-directional just because I, I'm OCD and I like to do that. System, okay, perfect. Go to network, that's all good for now. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit okay. Let's start this bad boy up. And once it starts up, we're gonna go ahead and browse out to the actual install. As you can see, it's, it's, uh, it's cooking right now. Let's go ahead and X out of that. Make this, whoops. So now the DVD, this is pretty cool. So go ahead and map, whoops. Of course it's not, I need to, I need to browse out to it, Pat. What are you doing? All right, so now this is it, Alien Vault. And then go ahead and mount and reboot and try again. And now we should be good, capture. So for right now, we're gonna install the server. So it's the OSSIM. So hit install there and it's gonna go ahead and cook. And let's go ahead and X out of here. And if you have installed a Linux distro, it's pretty much the same thing. English from me, continue United States, continue American English. And we're gonna go ahead and it's gonna mount the drive, do all its good stuff. And then we're gonna go ahead and configure the IP addresses, the subnets and all that good stuff. Add a fancy password just like you would do when you install a Linux distro 
for the first time. So right now it's detecting the network hardware. So perfect. My IP address would is going to be 192.168.100.150. Okay. Let's hit continue. Let's go ahead and hit continue here. Continue, continue. And we're going to go ahead and just let it cook. Okay. So once this is done, I believe the next thing will uh, it'll, it'll ask us to change the password or add a password. And once it's done with that, we'll, uh, we'll continue. So right now it's just detecting the link to the ethernet. So ETH zero. So let that uh, finish its thing. Okay, so now we can put our fancy root password. And I'm just gonna put password, really secure. <laughs> it's just a lab, so you can put anything. Make it easy so you can remember. Okay, hit continue. It's gonna set up the clock and we're in Eastern time, so it'll detect Eastern shortly here. Okay, here we go. So let's go ahead and click continue. It's gonna detect the hard drives and then go on its merry way. All right, so now it's gonna go ahead and install the base operating system. So now we just hang out and uh, wait. All right, guys, so that is rebooting. So Alien Vault should be installed shortly. That whole process took about 25 minutes. So it is a lengthy process. So once you start installing it, you could probably go eat dinner and come back and it should be ready. But yeah, let's wait for it to reboot. And once it reboots, it should give us a login to log in and, and all that good stuff. So let's give this a moment. All right, so here we are at the login screen. So let's go ahead and log in. So our username would be root and the password in my case would be just password. Okay, so now once this boots up, we should be able to log in. And as you see on the top, or as you can see on the top here, 192.168.100.150. So what we can do here, we can just sh shut down the appliance for now and we'll continue the configuration in the next video. So let's go ahead and hit okay. Yes, I'm sure. And once this goes ahead and shut down, we have to make one more change to the configuration, at least in my case, because as you can see here, my network is on NAT. I need to put this on host only to get onto that 192.168.100 network. So there's multiple ways to shut down the VMs. You can go ahead and just X out of it and just hard shut it down. But you know, gradually shutting it down the normal way would be a lot better just so you don't corrupt any files or whatever. So let's go to settings really quick. Go to network and I wanna go to host only. And this is my host only ethernet adapter. So if we hit okay, and we go to tools, network, right here is the host only. And that's, that's the reason because I need to be on the same subnet. Okay, so that concludes this video on installing the server. And let's see anything else before we go. And yeah, that's it. So the next one will be installing the sensor and yeah, keep going. So hopefully this has been informative for you guys. Thank you so much for viewing until next time. Have a good one.